Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'm here today to just welcome all of you to 2012, the Saints of Value Ministerial Training Center. You know, the Lord spoke to my spirit that this is your year of promise. So get in the position to receive your miracle here at Saints of Value. Introduce to all of you and present to others and thank God for these faithful. They are so faithful. I mean, Pastor Paul and Pastor Gills were nothing but an asset, their whole family to the ministry. I mean, he's faithful. I mean, they're faithful. I thank God for you. And I close with you. Just want to let you know I thank you. I appreciate you. And he is indeed the dean. So watch it. Okay. Give the Lord a praise as he come. We believe in service. In Trinidad, we are originally from Trinidad. And we used to do ministry in Trinidad. So we love work, we love doing the work of the Lord. I mean, we, we prefer nothing else but doing God's work. I mean, God has called us to do His work. We believe we are servants of the Most High God, and we love it. So we transferred from Trinidad, or moving from Trinidad to the United States, for just a continuation of what we have been doing in Trinidad for many years. So we love what we do, we have a servant's heart, and I believe every believer should have a servant heart. Because we in this for service. It's not about glamour, it's not about being glorious, it's about servanthood. And if you understand the work of a minister, a minister is actually a servant. Sometimes we get caught up with the titles, but it's not about the titles, people of God, it's about the work. And if you want to do God's work, then you're in the right place. SOV will train you to do God's work. Trust me. Basically, what I want to share is very brief with you. Um, in October of last year, the Lord gave me a word for the church. And the word the Lord gave me is divine manifestation. God want to manifest His glory in the saints. And the unique thing about it is that, yes, God want to manifest his, his glory in us, but it's not really for us, so to speak. All right. God will use us, yes, it's part of the call and the work God has called us to do, but ultimately, it's for others. Yes. And the, the, the unique thing about it is that I was just going through the computer system because I like to do research, and I was just going through the computer system and one particular thing hit me very strong is what Catherine Booth said and probably both of um, this young lady and Pastor Roth Ross will know. Catherine Booth, she and her husband was the founder of Salvation Army. And they, they did a very important quote in that they said that you are not here in this world for yourself. You have been sent here for others. The world is waiting on you. And that is very profound. Because sometimes we get saved and we miss the mark. Sad to say. So many of us, we get saved and we feel it's all about us. Yes, it's about us in a sense because God see it fit that he saved us. But yet, it's about others too to do his work. And sometimes we get so caught up when you look at some big ministries, it's all about them. But they don't understand it's about the work of God. And God will reward us based upon what we did for him. So when we get to heaven, some people have more crowns of righteousness than others. And we might say, wow, that's strange. But what did you do for what God has placed inside of you? And when I read that quote, uh, my, my wife used to like to say cold or cold. Right. When I read that, it, it stayed with me. And I said, yes, I want to be like these people. And the next quote too, that very touched my heart, is that by Bill Bright. He was the founder of the Campus Crusade for Christ. You know what he said? He said, less than 2% of believers ever share their faith in Christ with others. Less than 2%. So that means there are 98% of us not doing what God called us to do. Amen. And we should feel ashamed, Amen. people of God. Amen. If less than 2% doing the work, and God called all of us to do the work, 
then we should really repent before God Amen. Mm -hmm. and say, God, I am sorry. And take heed and go towards changing that this new year. Yes, so many people send different quotes. Yes, God said promises this year. God said more than enough this year. God said this, God said that. But you know something, it always strikes me that everything that people get from the Lord, it's never for the loss. Mm -hmm. that, 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 isn't that strange? How God will be only interested in the saints only? That is so weird. I have heard so many different saying every over the years. It's more than enough. It's blessings for you. So God only interested in the saints. So that means we had no place. It's because of somebody ministering to us, we are where we are today. So we should never take that lightly. So we must check our spirit and say, is God really speaking that concerning us only? Or is God seeing the bigger world? And too often as Christians, we narrow it down only to us. So we become selfish, we become conceited, and we don't do the work. That is why more, only 2% doing God's work. Because for too long, we always hear this mindset, more than enough in 2013. More, prof more prosperity, more blessing, more this, more that. And it's only for us. So that means God is not scared about the sick others. You understand what I'm saying? God is interested in everyone. He did not only die for the saints. He died for the whole of the humanity. So why should we put God in a box and only say God interested in us only, the saints? God interested in everybody. God is interested in everybody. So we must learn to change our mindset and actually ask God, is that what you saying, Lord? Is that you saying or is that you want to hear? It's a difference. When the Lord ministered this to me, that divine manifestation, this year, God took me to two scriptures in the Bible. Isaiah 60, verse 1, and Isaiah 61, verse 1. And Isaiah 60, verse 1 said, Arise, shine, for your light has come. Amen. And the glory of God is upon you. Why do you think that God places glory upon you? Just to hold it on to yourself only? No. We have to start changing our mindset. God places glory upon us to affect others. Look at Isaiah 61 verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. For he has anointed me to do what? No, he didn't say preach. No, he did not preach, right? That's how we take it. We believe it's only for us. So all the words, pastors in England, pastors in the Caribbean, pastors in different parts of the United States keep sending one message to me. Blessings this year. Mm -hmm. Prosperity this year. That's right. More than enough this year. But you know the strange thing about it, people of God, it's only geared towards the saints. Why could God, why can't God give you a word for the lost sheep? Amen. Come, come on, people. We are, we are believers. Let's think. Right. Why God only sin for the believers? Right. Mm -hmm. More in 2013. Prosperity in 2013. Blessings in 2013. This in 2013. But it's only geared towards the sins. Why God can raise somebody up to give them a word for the lost? Of yeah. this world. Hallelujah. Yeah. Tell me, people of God, if that is not an imbalance. No. Come on. So God only interested in the saints. No, yeah. And here the strange thing about it, people of God. There are over seven billion people on earth. One billion saved. <laughs> right? So we have six billion plus not saved. So the God that I serve is not interested in the six billion. Based upon all the words that are coming forth right. from these leaders, right. God is not interested in the six billion. 
Come on, people of God. Is that wise? Is that a wise God we serve? Pastor Gail? That God only interested in the saints? God interested in everybody. He said he caused he caused the rain to fall on the just and the unjust. Yes. 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 He said he did not come for the saved. He came for those that need yes. what? The sick. He came for all yes. of us. Yes. So when God gave me this word in October last year, divine manifestation. Mm. And I went and checked the two scriptures the Lord gave me. Isaiah 60 verse 1. You all go and read it. Isaiah 60 verse 1 and Isaiah 61 verse 1. You know what that telling me? It's telling me God interested in me, yes, but he interested in me in such a way that I affect others too. Yeah. Read, it, read it scripture. Don't get caught up with this concept people have. Everybody want a word that appeased them. Right. All right now. Everybody. Right. More prosperity, more this, more that. What about holiness? Yeah. Why no minister come up with a word that God said live holy in 2013? Yes. Come yes. on, people of God. Is there a phrase my mind's never eh? Why God don't raise somebody up to give a word and say more souls in 2013 yeah. or holiness well, because he said it in his word without holiness no man can see my face yeah. and if God interested in holiness why he don't give a word for us to live holy I'm telling you people of God <laughs> it's an imbalance going on in the church yes, of the living is. God yes, right. we are fleecing the church of the living God. Yeah. Because they know people have itching ears yeah. and they want to hear what seems nice. Yeah. But I'll tell you something, what seems nice don't always nice. Yeah. What seems nice can enter destruction. Yeah. I am telling you all, each and every one of you all in this place tonight. Come on man. Put your emphasis on winning souls. Yes. <laughs> And if you win souls for Christ, you will be the happiest Christian on earth. Because that's the heartbeat of God. You see, when you win souls, you touch the very heart of God. Because he said, he that wins souls is what? Hallelujah. <laughs> you want to be wise in this world system? Win souls. Don't get caught up. Because if you seek the Lord, the Lord will always tell you, seek souls. I don't know what Lord some of these people seeking. That God not interested in the lost sheep. Why no word? And I'm closing. It really disturbed me. Eh? It really, really disturbed me, people of God. And when something disturbed me, I really disturbed. Because my heartbeat is the same heartbeat as God. Because the Bible teach me in John 3.3, 3, except a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. And that's my heartbeat. I want to see men save and come to the knowledge of the truth. And that's my life, that's my passion, is to see people save. So if that's my passion, and I'm training my kids to do the same, to win souls, and if you win souls, you'll be the happiest person on earth. Come on now. I don't care how much money or how much money you don't have. But if you win souls, you have a peace. Amen. You have a contentment. Your godliness comes over because you're doing what is right in the eyes of God. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. May God encourage you. May God cause his light to shine upon you. <laughs> and may you do Amen. great works for God Amen. in 2013. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. My name is Pastor Paul, Dean of the Ministry Training Center here at SOV, which is Saints of Value Ministries. We are a ministry that is geared towards training people for ministry. We have several ministries available. We have the Union Rescue Mission. 
convalescent home. We have jail, juvenile ministry. We have so many ministries that it's an eight-week theoretical program and a one-year intern training program where you go on the field and learn everything that you need to learn to make you an effective minister for Christ. And this time I'll pass it over to my wife to add further information. Well, just basically I want to talk about the experience that you have here at Saints of Value Ministry. It's not just a ministerial training center, it's also a family. Um, and in this family, you learn how to love each other, you learn how to just do God's work. And um, you grow together, you learn together, and you pray for one another. So this is a great place to be, so we hope to see you. Um, soon to do God's work. Amen. Praise God. And come out, be blessed, and do what God has called you to do, which is to win the loss at any cost. He that wins souls is wise. We want to be wise in this world. The Bible said to be, the Bible said this world to be wise as a serpent and harmless of a dove. We want to be wise. So let's win the loss and do God's work in this earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi, my name is Cliff Wright, and I'm a staff pastor here at Saints of God Ministry Training Center. And I must tell you that if there is a call on your life, in fact, I know there is a call on your life, you owe it to yourself to come and visit us. Come and allow God to speak into your heart to uplift those dreams. God says to stir up the gifts on the inside of you and avoid overpass fear. There's perfect love, cast out fear. And this is a place where you can develop the gifting on the inside of you. So we encourage you to come out and allow God to bless you and grow you in the things of God. Amen. Hi, my name is Minister Jessica, and I just want to tell you a little bit about the blessings and the opportunities here at SOV Ministerial Training Center. Um, this is a place where if you've ever heard, you know, by the Spirit within yourself, um, God's call upon your life, regardless of what it is, you know. Um, even if it's a ministry that you've never seen before, but yet you just know that God has called you because we are living in a generation of the peculiar generation. So there are going to be ministries birthed out of God's saints that have never been here before, but it's a new birth, you know, because it's for this season, this hour in which we're living. Well, this is the place for you. Um, SOV embraces all of God's folk. SOV embraces all that know that they have been called. And even if you don't know, but you just know that God is requiring more from you than usual, you know, than he ever has before, then this is a place for you to discover that also. To be able to discover the gifts of God that he has bestowed upon you. So, um, you know, if you've ever questioned, or you, you, you desire, or this is, you know, uh, a, a, a tug, then come check us out. This is the place for you. Come check us out, see what we're about, and, uh, Believe God that uh, this is where he's leading you to, to be ordained or to discover just your purpose of the kingdom. Amen? Amen.